Jenny Morris from Food24 and today we're going to make a smoothie. We're talking about a smoothie that has a base of fresh fruit. We're going to use some beautiful ginger with all its wonderful health giving properties. Some fresh pineapple because I think pineapple and ginger are just such a lovely combination. We're going to use some mango, nice tropical flavor with your pineapple. Some fresh lime, a little bit of lemon, some fresh mint and of course yogurt. Um, now this is a hand of ginger, isn't that gorgeous? Can you hear that? That is just so full of juice. Okay, you're going to just peel a little bit of ginger. So you can take your skin off. This is so fragrant and so fresh and so fleshy and so juicy. I love it. My machine's actually going to do all the work for me, but I want to have this quick, quick, quick. So I'm going to just chop it up to about so rough. It's going to go into my smoothie machine. So there's no point in cutting and preparing everything 10 hours before we're going to use them. Try and prepare it just before you're going to use it so you retain all that wonderful um, nutrition trapped in your fruit and you get the benefit of it. Okay, these are what we call mango cheeks. Sort of diamond shape it. Okay, like that. We're going to just cut it out of its skin, like that. Some lovely fresh lime zest. It's such a gorgeous mango. Mm. Loving it. Fresh lime zest, a little bit of fresh lemon zest, lemon and ginger. It's kind of a very nice wintery. Um, the ginger is going to give you lots of warmth, all the lovely vitamin C to fight the colds of winter. I think this is going to be a lovely, lovely, lovely drink. Lime. Can you see the difference between a lemon and a lime? So don't ever let anyone tell you that. If a recipe calls for a lime, you can use a lemon. And we're going to peel our pineapple. Okay, we want to just take all of those thorns down. Just follow the shape of your pineapple. Um, as I said, you don't want to get any of these thorns in there. But if you don't want to chew your smoothie, just take the core out and don't throw it away. It's full of fiber. It's the most delicious part of the pineapple. You can save that for later. That's almost like it's the chef's uh, privilege, that. You can choose natural yogurt. In fact, you could use any kind um, of yogurt or flavor to suit the type of fruit that you are putting into your smoothie machine. We're going to use lots and lots of runny honey. This is lovely. It's got ginger, it's got honey, it's got lemon, it's got all the good stuff. So let's go to the smoothie machine. mango, our lovely zest, some lovely fresh yogurt. What we're doing now is just adding honey. It's, honey just gives it this beautiful, warm, gorgeous flavor, but I mean, how sweet do you like it? Let's have a look. Ah, look at that. Obviously, if you want to start your day with a good boost of nutrition, smoothie is the way to go. So you're going to go for a lovely, big, tall glass of smoothie. But if you're having friends around um, for a brunch and um, you want to just have this very, you know, I love breakfast. We have lots of tastes and textures and, and things like that. You could have a little cocktail smoothie like that to welcome them. You can put a shot of something in it. That is so delicious. So that's our smoothie with ginger, lime, a little bit of lemon, um, some freshly squeezed um, granadilla, or you could just buy the juice. It doesn't matter. You can use that. We've got lots of ginger, and we've got mint, and we've got yogurt, lots and lots of ice, and it can be as runny or as thick as you want it. Enjoy. Enjoy.